a divine scripture was sent down to humanity 14 centuries ago. This sacred book is the Quran. From the day of its revelation to the day of judgment, it will remain as the last and sole guide for humanity. There are countless proofs that the Quran is the word of God. A great many scientific facts we have only recently been able to establish using modern day technology from the layers of the earth to continental drift and from the gender of a baby to atomic subparticles were revealed in our book 14 centuries ago. The Big Bang Theory, which the scientific world unanimously accepted in the 20th century, proves that the universe came into being with a giant explosion. One verse of the Quran that revealed this fact 1400 years ago reads, Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were sewn together and then we unstitched them, and that we made from water every living thing. So will they not believe? The word rakt, translated as sewn together, means mixed in each, blended in the Arabic vernacular. The phrase, we unstitched, is the verb fataka, and in Arabic it implies the tearing apart of a structure of things that are sewn to one another. A very important scientific fact is being described here, the separation of the heavens and the earth. Intriguingly, at the first moments of the Big Bang, the entire matter of the universe collected at one single point, the heavens and earth which were not created yet, were within this single point. Then, this point exploded violently, causing its matter to disunite. This is just as is described in the verse. People 14 centuries ago, of course, possessed no scientific knowledge or technology by which to know that the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, and everything they saw, or that which was invisible in the skies, had initially been united in a single point. In the Quran, which was revealed 14 centuries ago at a time when the science of astronomy was still primitive, the expansion of the universe was described like this. And it is we who have constructed the heaven with might, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. The word heaven, as stated in this verse, is used in various places in the Quran with the meaning of space and universe. Here again, the word is used with this meaning. In other words, in the Quran, it is communicated that the universe expands. And this is the very conclusion that science has reached today. Until the dawn of the 20th century, the only view prevailing in the world of science was that the universe has a constant nature and it has existed since infinite time. The research, observations, and calculations carried out by means of modern technology, however, revealed that the universe in fact had a beginning and that it constantly expands. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman and the Belgian cosmologist Georges Lemaitre theoretically calculated that the universe is in constant motion and that it is expanding. This fact was proved also by observational data in 1929. While observing the sky with a telescope, 
Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer, discovered that the stars and galaxies were constantly moving away from each other. A universe where everything constantly moves away from each other implied a constantly expanding universe. The observations carried out in the following years verified that the universe constantly expands. This fact was explained in the Quran when it was yet unknown by anyone. This is because the Quran is the word of God. Thank you.